hear, O my beloved. You are the reason for the being of the world. You are the center point of the sphere and its encompassing. You are its complexity and simplicity. You are the order brought down between heaven and earth. I did not create for you realizations, except that you realize me in them. And when you realize me, you realize yourself. Do not strive to realize me in the realization of yourself. By my eye, you will see me and yourself. You will not see me by the eye of yourself. Beloved, how often have I called you and you do not hear? How often have I stood before you and you do not witness me? How often have I embodied myself in scents and you do not inhale? And in the flavors and you do not savor the taste for my sake? What is the matter with you that you do not feel me when you touch? Why do you not recognize me in the fragrances of musk? Why do you not see me? Why do you not hear me? What is the matter with you? What is the matter with you? I am your most heady rapture, beyond any delight. My craving for you is more intense than any born for an object of desire. I am better for you than any good thing. I am the beautiful. I am the elegant. Love me, love me, love me alone. Desire me ardently. Be consumed in me, not engrossed in other than me. Take me in, receive me. You will not find an intimate like me. Everything wants you for itself, but I want you for your sake. But you, you avoid me. Beloved, you cannot meet me halfway in your drawing close to me. My drawing close to you outweighs a hundredfold the means by which you approach me. I am closer to you than yourself. And yourself, which performs these acts, is other than me. Created. Beloved, I am jealous of you from you. I cannot bear to see you with otherness or with yourself. Be with me in me, with yourself just as you are with me. Then, my beloved, you will not even feel the union. The union. Had we found a path towards separation, we would let the separation savor separation. Beloved, come hand in hand, enter reality that it may decide between us with the judgment of eternity. Beloved antagonist, pleasure cannot be found in dispute between lovers. 
pleasure is in the converse, as the poet said. I wished her dead because of loving her, so that she'd be my adversary on the last day.